What's up guys, LKCuber here. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to solve the Rubik's clock. Let's get right into it. If you've been watching my channel, you know that my main event is three by three. I've been focusing on different events lately and one of them is clock. So the Rubik's clock has nine clocks on each side and you try to get the pins to face 12, which is this red little dial. So these are pins and these are the dials. So let's get right into the tutorial. First, I'm gonna teach you the notation and how to scramble it. I'm gonna put the scramble on the screen right here. Um, I was gonna like show you it, but it's too big to, to fit in the camera. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on white. And first thing we have is you are one plus. So the, the dials have different um, letters for them and the numbers are how much you turn them. So for you are, the this is always gonna be every scramble. You're gonna start with just, this is you are, this is dr, this is dl, and this is D U L. So upper right, bottom right, or down right, down left, up left. So anyway, so we start out with the first pin, you are, or upper right, and we turn it one, one, just because it's plus. So we turn it clockwise. Next, we put that pin down and we put in, we put up the D, the DL pin and we go put it up and we turn it minus one. Sorry for the glare, minus one. And then what we do is we do put that one down. We put up DL and then minus one, right? Yep. And then put that one down and do the UL minus five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you put all of them up and you do one plus. It's going to say all. So you put them all up and do that. Next, you're going to do a X2 or Y2, whatever, whichever one. And you're going to want to put these two up. So if it has one letter, it's going to be two at the same time. So we have U5 minus. So we do the U because this is up, this is right, this is down, this is left. These two, if it was this, this would be L. If they're like this, this would be R and so on. So for the next one, we have U minus five or five minus. So we do one, two, three, four, five. Put that one down, put the DR one up and do minus four, one, two, three, four. D minus one, and then L minus five, one, two, three, four, five. All minus four, one, two, three, four, and then U, at the very end, it's gonna tell you to put certain pins down. So U, R, and U, L, and then that's your scramble. Next, let's get into right. Let's get right into solving it. Well, I am probably the most noob at this event. This is like my worst event. My best is like 23 seconds in competition. I'm not that good. So this is going to be the beginner's method. And some things I do might be inefficient. So don't be yelling at me in the comments or anything like that. So um, first step, we're going to try and make a white cross. Just like on 3x3, three three, whenever you make your white cross. Bro, I just messed up the scramble. Dang it. What we're going to do is we're going to check and see if any of these match. Because if they do, you can just make pairs very easily. So these two match and none of these don't. None of these do. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to match this one up to one of these. So And then we can move it back. So we want to go with this one because it's not going to mess this one up. So put that one down. And we're going to match it up with this one. So, oh no, not that one. The upper one, sorry. Still getting, like, more familiar with it. And then what we're going to want to do is put this one up and move it back. Like that. So it's just intuity. Okay. Um, next, we're going to want to, this is how I do it. So whenever we have two left, what I do is I put up two of them. And then match it with that, which, which, with whichever one it is like besides, so this one, we move it up and we match it at the one o'clock because they're both at one o'clock. 
Next, all we have to do is, since this one's on the bottom, we want to put these, these two up because these are all on the top. And then we just match them up like that. And then all of them and move it to the 12. That is how you make the white cross. The next step is going to be making the other sides cross. Whenever you're on this side, you cannot do certain moves or else it will mess this up. So you can only turn uh, this whenever the pin is up. So you cannot turn this, this, or this because only this pin is up. So basically, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to try and match one of these up. So none of them, none of them are matching, so we're going to have to match them up on our own. So with the center, we're going to match it up with the left. Like that. And then it's basically the same thing. You put up pins. You also got to play with the, play around with it a little bit. Those match up. And then we go to the same thing like that. Okay. You're going to be solving these corners in a way to where it won't mess up anything. And it will actually solve the other side too. Whenever this, you can only do certain moves too. If one pin is down, you can only turn whichever one it's not. So you can turn this, this, or this. You cannot turn this. I like to do whichever one it's closest to because it's easier for finger tricks. We're going to match this with this. Sorry. We're going to match that. See? And then put that one down and match this one up. Next, we only have these two. So to make it more e simple and easy to see, we're going to be matching up this with this. And then this one, so you can match this one up. And then once they're all um, in the right pattern, you just make it reach 12 o'clock like that. And the other side will be solved. That is probably the worst tutorial I've ever done. So you don't have to like this video. You don't have to do anything. You, I would, I would click off. So thank you guys so much for watching if you did. And... See, in the next video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make an X cross. Actually, that might have, that, that's probably going to be after nationals. So, um, after nationals, it's going to be a very, 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 um, very, very, it's going to be a really good tutorial. So, stay tuned. See you guys in the next video. Bye.